Hi everyone, hope you're all well. Welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a general energy reading for the sign of Aquarius. Um, this can resonate for your sun, moon, rising and Venus sign. So this is for September 2021. I've already done general um, and love readings for September. Um, so there will be a link at the end of this particular reading or you can go ahead and have a look at my channel and there will be some um, more readings available to you there, okay? So I'm going to start shuffling with the Light Sears Tarot um, and then later on I'll use another different um, tarot deck to clarify and some oracle cards at the end for advice and guidance for you all, okay? So obviously if the reading resonates then that's awesome or, or if parts of the message resonate then that's cool as well. Um, if it doesn't resonate then it's just simply not your message, okay guys? So please um, don't make a story fit, just kind of um, leave your, use your own discernment. Um, sorry about this. This, um, this deck of cards is a little bit more difficult to shuffle than the other ones. Um, they're slightly bigger so I have a little bit more trouble with these. <laughs> Okay, so um, what else was to say? Yeah, so this can resonate with your sun, moon, rising or Venus. I feel like I've already said that, but you know, hey ho guys. <laughs> um, obviously I'll read out the zodiac signs. Um, if there's any love in this reading, obviously I'll let you, you know, read out the signs to let you guys know what's going on here. Um, and who, like if you're thinking of someone or they're on your mind or what have you, or if they're in, they're in their chart or your chart obviously guys i'm so sorry about this like <laughs> i'm just getting this overall sense that um that you may be kind of like fumbling around <laughs> um which is very unaquarian like um maybe there's something going on and you potentially feel like you're all kind of um oh gosh what's that saying fingers and thumb well I don't know it doesn't make any sense but anyway guys I'm so sorry um yeah let's just get into the reading oh gosh it's like words just not happening for me right now um wow we had the ace of swords this is awesome and uh, Capricorn just had the ace of swords come out in their spreads as well so potentially you could have Capricorn in your chart or you know a Capricorn or you um what have you Okay, four swords in reverse. What's going on else for Aquarius? Oh, okay, so three of swords. You're gaining strength after a particular difficult heartbreak I'm getting, a difficult situation. What else is going for Aquarius? One more for Aquarius, please. It's all air energy. This is all you so far so you're definitely here wow okay nine of swords oh my goodness what's going on here ace of wands in reverse what <laughs> okay um so yeah gemini libra aquarius obviously you're you're here predominantly air but there's also fire available with the ace of wands in reverse five of wands upright pisces energy with the hangman in reverse and we have uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces here with the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Three of Cups. Okay, so um, let's get into this, shall we? So what I'm feeling predominantly, um, you may be very much up in your head right now, feeling relatively stressed, unsure about how to move forward in a particular situation, or you've gone through um, maybe um, a very devastating breakup of sorts um, to do with a family home situation, a work situation, romantic relationship, or even a friendship I'm getting. And this, there may be a particular block from you being able to move on forward um, and gain particular clarity in your life. I'm getting the sense of a lot of confusion and feeling like you're being held back in a particular way. Maybe you're feeling like um, you, I'm, you're get, I'm just getting the sense like you're having to to take time for yourself and just slowly recover and gain your kind of mental strength again rather than necessarily rushing into anything um, especially with air signs like you know the air signs are swords like they go through the air very quickly like very swiftly there's a there's always seems to be a rush and especially when it comes to the knight of swords it's like wanting to move forward quickly and 
it's like this is like kind of telling you the opposite that you're needing to take the time to slow down and because you're going to be burnt out otherwise and potentially um, you may be getting a lot of sleepless nights um, and a lot of stress and potentially you're being told to kind of um, just find clarity for yourself and just take time to kind of go within maybe even meditate I'm getting um, and just to just to fo focus on yourself uh, until you gain this particular clarity in your life and have a particular breakthrough I'm getting um, and hold this kind of new positive vision in it for yourself um, especially here with the ace of wands and the five of wands you may have gone through a very difficult um, I'm getting just a very difficult journey like there may have been a very much up in your head confused um maybe a lot of mental conflict here with the five of wands we kind of got the gist of that here with the nine of swords um as well as you may have felt like very much in limbo for a very long time and it's like feeling rather um i'm getting that word like ap apathetic apathetic like feeling like you're just emotionally disconnected from something and I can totally understand that with this kind of hangman energy feeling like you've been in limbo like emotionally just dis discharging from a certain situation especially here with the queen of cups in reverse like feeling relatively withdrawn and it's like potentially you're needing to take the time to put this love and extra care into yourself and be surrounded by really good friends who are going to be able to help you and have the best and purest intentions to help you move on forward like having this um this really close circle like community who are going to be there to support you and kind of help help you um fill up your own cup i'm getting here um potentially here you could feel like just absolutely exhausted from dealing with a load of drama potentially you've had a lot of people previously um that may be just causing a load of conflict and this could make you feel relatively defensive and you're having to kind of stand your ground and potentially this could have just been exhausting and i'm just feeling this overall sense like you've they've had lots of sleepless nights where you've been upset and crying and you know carrying a lot of pain and i just feel like you've kind of been waiting looking for the future when am i going to have my breakthrough when am i going to feel this victory when am i going to be able to move on forward and so i feel like it's really important that i start clarifying these particular cards um with a radiant ride away tarot and see what we can get for you there's a lot of potential for a brand new beginning of sorts um but i'm just feeling this overall sense of needing to take the time to heal and if that means that you have to be on your own for a little while and then like kind of reach out for a circle of friends to kind of be there and open up your feelings to them um maybe that's something that you find relatively difficult doing um you know like trying to release certain pains the, i'm just getting the sense there's a there's a lot of a releasing that needs to be done Okay, but you will be able to move on to calmer waters. I'm getting that sense. Oh, okay, that was uh, the wrong way around. You will be able to move on to calmer waters eventually and heal yourself. But I feel that potentially there may be a little bit of um, emotional baggage right now regarding the situation. Maybe you feel like you were betrayed by someone or something. And you're having to heal from that. Why is the Ace of Swords here for Aquarius? Look at that, Four of Swords. You've seen me shuffle. Double Four of Swords in reverse. Extra clarity there that you need to take time for you. Regain your strength back. You may be feeling very restless right now. Why is the Ace of Swords here upright for Aquarius? Ace of Swords for Aquarius. Look at that Five of Wands. We saw that earlier where there's been like drama and everything here with the Five of Wands. But this has come out reverse. So you're gaining the clarity that you don't have to deal with any of the drama. That you're going to be successful. That you can go forwards and, 
um, you're going to have harmony coming into your life. Potentially here, look at this, with the Seven of Swords in reverse. Maybe someone's going to come clean with some sort of, like, information. Maybe even an apology. I'm also getting the sense that maybe somebody wants to kind of make amends to do with a situation if they got caught doing something. And they may feel very regretful about that here with the Five of Cups. And they kind of want to reunite with you and reconcile, maybe. What else here for the Ace of Swords? Yeah, they want to bring positivity. There's going to be some sort of light being shown on a situation. Um, if something hasn't been very positive, you're going to find out exactly what's been going on. But you're going to be able to move forward in this clarity and success. And you're going to have harmony be brought back in for your life. And where you're going to feel happier um, and more balanced. And blessings will be coming in for you here. You'll be able to look forward to the future and have... Um, I'm just getting this sense like feeling excited to kind of look forward to the future. I'm going to take one more for the Ace of Swords. This is too many. Look at this! Five of Swords! No, I was saying earlier there may have been a lot of drama, a lot of bit of a crisis, potentially lies, betrayal, what have you. But I mean, there's going to be major changes. We've seen five, saw five here, and then we've got five again. So you could be seeing five, five, five. So you're getting um, from, to, from a period of time where there may have been a bit of negativity to positivity. And then the world and the sun with this new success coming in, um, these major changes are going to be very beneficial for you getting okay and we have the star here in reverse so there may have been a period of time where you felt relatively unhopeful that things were going to move forward re feeling a bit depressed um like you may have felt like you didn't have faith that things were going to move on forward but they absolutely are here with the wheel of fortune things are going to be turning around in your favor look how beautiful this is with the ace of wands so you're going from the ace of wands re being reversed to upright just seen 12 12 on the clock so potentially that could be something to look forward to um but yeah you're going to be able to go forward in a brand new endeavor i'm getting as well um after feeling more healed um and working on yourself this is so positive and beautiful here potentially even a new partnership or a love relationship um there's going to be a sudden change like this is another card to do a change um like rebirth so and I just saw the star energy as well. And that's obviously your energy. So you may have not felt very hopeful, feeling tired, um, exhausted, I'm getting. And I'm not surprised with uh, with the, with this, like, kind of these cards that are showing up to me. So what is going on here with the Four of Swords in reverse? What's going on here with the Four of Swords? Aquarius. Look at that. Justice coming in for you. Libra energy. Things balancing out of your favour. If you felt like you were being taken advantage of at any point, um, that's going to be coming to an end where things are going to be in your favour and you're going to slowly be able to recover with the Ace of Wands. You know, with this brand new beginning, this new inspiration for your life. Investing in yourself working hard yeah after a period of time where you may have felt unhopeful in a, in a family home situation or you weren't getting to where you wanted to be balance is coming in for you broke up the deck again and things are changing around in your favor good fortune coming in what else for the four of swords in reverse please okay so yeah letting go of certain people possessions or things um is going to allow you to be able to move on forward you're ready to rejoin the world and any opportunities that you felt that you may have previously missed out on you're going to be able to gain that back you're going to be able to start off brand new in a new adventure an adventure but also venture i'm getting and you're going to drop the burdens of any difficulties that you may have um, gone through previously you're going to feel free you're going to feel lighter you're going to be able to take a break with this new clarity and truth broke up the deck we've got the ace of swords with the ace of swords again You're going to move forward really positively with this new truth and maybe go for a new endeavor here, maybe receiving some sort of news or maybe even a financial offer potentially with the page of pentacles. You're going to be able to set goals for yourself, maybe lay a new foundation in your life. 
Um, definitely receiving some sort of business news I'm getting or creative endeavor news, potentially to do with a new business partnership. I'm really feeling that. So that's really exciting. What's going on here with the Three of Swords? Yeah, okay, so with the Six of Cups in reverse, um, you you may have had your heart broken because you may have been stuck living in the past to do with a, per, a, situ, a certain situation, a home situation, a work um, thing, and feeling exhausted here with the Nine of Wands in reverse. Feeling like you had no faith, no, no fight left and having to retreat your energy and that's potentially you may have had to retreat your energy from something to gain your independence to be able to move yourself forward you may have felt very trapped uh, and maybe confused but you're not going to be confused for much longer six of pentacles so yeah you needing to be more kind to yourself double six is here balance is coming in for you you could be seeing 66 um, look at that. Here we are saying balance coming in for you. You've got the, the two of pentacles. That's literally what I just said. Um, balance and harmony coming in for you. You're making particular decisions on yourself, being kinder to yourself. Um, you're going to be um, surrounded by people who are going to really help you, going to want to um, invest in you, I'm getting. And you're just going to be able to receive help. Um, be more open to receiving help, which is going to allow you to move on forward in a new endeavour of sorts or something. Why is the Three of Swords here? Oof. Okay, Ace of Wands, upright. So potentially <laughs> you may be getting an apology from someone who wants to show you that they're very passionate about you. Maybe someone's had a change of heart. Maybe somebody wants to offer you a proper beginning, a proper stability I'm getting. Or you're going to be receiving some sort of intuitive news to do with how do you set up a new business, a new foundation, new um, sense of long-term security for yourself. Um, potentially here with the Ace of Wands with the with that as well. So I was just saying, sorry, bear with us. Just got the deck all mixed up. But you've definitely had long sleepless nights of being unsure about how to move on forward. But I'm just getting this sense that you'll be able to move on which you will, of course. So why is the Nine of Swords here? Nine of Swords for Aquarius. Oof. Hangman. Yeah, you may have made a lot of sacrifices, but realising that these sacrifices were for your highest good. You may have been very much left out in the cold or worried about a financial situation, a home situation, maybe even a relationship. And potentially it's now getting to the point where you're recovering from that you'll be able to pay off certain debts you'll be able to um i'm just getting a sense like a new job new job maybe a new home you've been stressing about it but realizing that these particular sacrifices that you may have made previously will be um for your benefit because there's lots of positivity coming in for you what else for the nine of you could also be dealing with a pisces or you have that strongly in your chart why is the um i mean we have we've seen we've got like aces everywhere so you're definitely having a new beginning why is the look at this ten of wands you're closing out a cycle so it's like this kind of came out sideways so there may be a particular block but you're going to be able to release the burdens and the stress for definite and then reinvest in yourself it's just being patient with you and being kinder to yourself things will eventually move on forward um but it's just about taking particular time and just nurturing yourself i'm gonna take one more for the nine of swords look at this so you may have been very unhopeful or depressed to do with a, a family home situation here um, and there may have been a lot of arguments, a lot of conflicts, and that what potentially could have been causing um, uh, the anxiety, the stress here with the nines, the nine of swords. But you're going to be receiving a wish fulfillment. You're going to let go of certain build, uh, burdens and be able to move on forward in a new sense of brand new security here with the king of um, pentacles. You know, you're going to be bettering yourself investing in yourself investing in your goals realizing what it is that you want okay and not feeling like you have to be at a loss 
you're moving forward positively. Yeah, and then King of Pentacles just wanted to come out again with the Ten of Cups. You know, it's really beautiful. Um, I'm just, I'm just getting this sense like any difficulties that you've had. It's not say to say that everything's going to be perfect, but any time where you felt like you weren't getting the support, you may have felt even I'm getting like neglected or insecure about a certain situation, you know, um, I'm feeling really down about it, like down and out I'm getting, you'll be able to change that around. You're going to be able to feel like focus on your own kind of health I'm getting, your mental health, your well-being. And this kind of new sense of emotional abundance is coming in for you and potentially even material abundance with this potentially a windfall maybe coming in for you. Justice is definitely coming in. I mean, these are very powerful cards that you have here on the table for you guys. So what can we get for the soul journey cards for you? What kind of closing advice or guidance can we get for you? Obviously, please only take what resonates. What's going on for Aquarius for September? Peace. <laughs> I am a being a love of love and I release all negative energy. Look at this. This is exactly what you're doing. Releasing it all and starting brand new. And then we have discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So you're just being more disciplined in yourself by kind of um, realigning your thoughts rather than being stuck in negativity. You're becoming more, um, more positive. I'm going to take one more card for Aquarius. You're being more po uh, positive and it's just going to bring like a new sense of abundance in for you and just feeling free and secure and oh my days, happiness <laughs> with the sun and the world <laughs> with the nine of cups. Um, I, think, I think you guys are going to be okay. Um, I'm aware that being happy means I'm on the right path. So happiness and peace is absolutely coming in for you. Um, and also love. <laughs> I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. And what did I just say about negativity and changing that to positivity? That's exactly what you're going to be doing. How amazing is this? Love it. And then changes are on the way for you. So I don't mean to knock the camera. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Yeah. How beautiful. So anyway, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed the reading and hope that um, it resonated or parts of the message resonated. Um, yeah, please like, share, subscribe, leave us a comment. I greatly appreciate it and we'll hopefully see you again soon. So please take care and bye for now.